Why is this guy using necromancer and not storm armor? Why not storm armor? I don't understand why this guy is not using storm armor. You should use tree fall storm with wither and shadow goggles. You could use bonds of magic necrom boss fight. Why are you using your current armor? It sucks. All right, so as you guys can tell, recently I've been getting bombarded in my comment section and my live stream chat with people telling me that my current necromancer armor set sucks and it's time for me to get an upgrade and upgrade to storm armor. Now, considering the fact that I also have 1.1 billion coins, it might be pretty confusing to you guys as to why I even bought necromancer armor to begin with as then, you know, I could have easily afforded wither armor and you know, just straight out got the best armor set in Hypixel Skyblock. Well, to tell you the truth, I actually have a pretty good reason as to why I bought necromancer armor to begin with. You see, to tell you the truth, I'm actually a bit of a late comer when it comes to dungeons. You see, why I only started dungeons about like three to four weeks ago, about one week after Floor 7 released. The problem is when you're Keta 0 and you want to do Floor 7, it's kind of extremely difficult because your gear actually scales with your Catacombs level. And if your Catacombs level sucks, well, your gear sucks. That's just how it works. <laughs> so basically, because my gear sucks so much, it was basically a massive struggle to stay alive in Floor 7 dungeons. And hence, this is why I chose Necromancer's armor. You see, while Necromancer armor is technically second generation armor because it's Floor 6 gear, it actually provided more defense than Wither armor. And since my goal was more of to stay alive than kill all the mobs, I chose Necromancer's armor to begin with. Well, anyways, that's not really that relevant anymore because as of right now, I'm already Kata 30 and I'm almost the Kata 31. So there's absolutely no reason to have Necromancer armor anymore because like, I don't really die much in dungeons anymore. Like the only time I die is when I whiff. So that's a bit of a different story rather than, you know, getting insta-killed by mobs. So yeah, I think it's finally time for me to upgrade to Wither armor. All right, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have procrastinated this video for so long that now Wither chestplates are going for less than 40 million coins, which is insane. Oh, this is one star. He priced this wrong. Wait, let me buy this. This is mine. There we go, boys. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, these chest plates were going for about 120 million coins before. So the fact that I just bought one for 40 million coins, I think this guy priced his chest plate wrong because this is one star. <laughs> he should have priced it a bit higher. My God, these things are like so much cheaper as compared to what they were before. It's just crazy, man. My boots got stolen. My boots got stolen. No, all the cheap boots are gone. No. But yeah, this armor set is so cheap now. Like if I, if I were to buy this like three weeks ago, it would have costed me like three to four times more coins, man. Holy crap. Now, I know some of you guys might be confused as to why I'm not buying a helmet for this armor set, but uh, I will explain why later, all right? But first of all, we have now gotten ourselves a full set of wither armor, you know, except for the helmet. So in case you guys don't know, wither armors are basically kind of like the Necron's blade, where basically it's kind of like a skeleton and you kind of have to choose a class for it after you buy the set. Now, there are many, many classes for this wither armor set to change into, but the class I'm going to be choosing is Storm set because I'm a mage and Storm gives you more intelligence, which is what we want here. All right, so the way to actually change this into a Storm armor set is to use something known as Laser Eyes. Now, usually you get this from the Blood Room in Dungeons, but uh, you know, do I look like one of the grind dungeons right now? Yeah, exactly. No, so let's just buy it off the auction house. <laughs> now, Laser Eyes have actually been constantly dropping in price recently because of people doing Blood Room runs recently. In case you guys don't know what that is, basically because the price of Laser Eyes and Diamond Handles have been so high, people have just been straight out rushing the Blood Room just to get these drops and then just quitting the run just to make profit. And because of that, there's been a slight oversupply of these things on the auction house and the price has been steadily dropping. So, well, good for me, I guess. I get cheaper laser eyes. It's 7 million for 8 eyes, but I think if I buy them by single ones, it'll be cheaper. But oh god, this is gonna take so long. 2,000 years later. Alright, now that the cheaper single eye is going for like 900k, it's actually cheaper for me to buy the 8 bunch now because the cheapest one is going for 6.8 million. So, I guess the tables have turned. It's cheaper to buy in bundles now. Oh man. Alright, there we have it. We finally have enough to craft Storm Armor. Oh yeah, dude. Storm's chest plate, Storm's leggings, and Storm's boots. So yeah, as you can see, this armor set gives you an insane amount of intelligence. And if you compare it to the Necron's armor set, it's just way better, man. And do remember, I haven't even put the reforges on these things yet. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do next now is to actually 5-star this armor first. And here's my reasoning, right? You see, if I start putting enchantments and reforges on this thing, the value of this armor set will go up way too high. And I'm going to have to start asking for insane collateral whenever I'm buying Wither Essence for this armor set. So I think it's actually better to just 5-star it first when I don't need that much collateral to 5-star this thing. That's just kind of my thinking here. Alright, so I just checked and I apparently have about 2,000 Wither Essence on my own accord. So I think I'll be able to 5-star the Storm's Chestplate by myself, which is really good because it's the most expensive piece in this armor set. Okay, 2 stars, 3 stars, 4 stars, 
And five stars. Oh, I have nine, nine, nine. I need a thousand essence to five. This is so stupid. This is this is so stupid. Y you know what? I'll do like one dungeon run just to get the last wither essence. That is that is so stupid. Oh my god. All right, so recolorize this dude has decided to scam me. So. He has offered me 5,000 coins per Wither Essence, which is a bit overpay because the current market rate is 4,000 coins per Wither Essence. Is this his collateral? I swear this is not even worth that much. Wait a second, this is- I- I'm pretty sure I got a scam collateral over here, but uh... Um, I'm not sure if this is worth the collateral, not gonna lie. Wait a second, is Recolorize scamming me? Give him back his thing, and then I'll pay him 15 mil, I guess. Man, I'm getting scammed like 3 mil here, but I don't care, man. I'm, I'm way too impatient, dude. All right, there we have it, boys. Five star storm armor, storm boot, and well, four star chest plate. I'll, I'll get it five star later, okay? All right, so it's at this point of the video where I say, well, do you remember at the start of the video where I said I'm not buying the helmet? Well, that's a good reason for that. You see, instead of buying a wither helmet, I'm going to be buying a wither goggles. You see, wither goggles have this special buff of dealing 70 plus damage to undead monsters, and the full set bonus of wither armor is kind of useless, not gonna lie. So I think actually getting Wither Goggles is a better idea than buying the full set of Wither Armor, so this is why I'm going for Wither Goggles. Now I'm gonna go ahead and quickly check the dungeon hub. Uh, if I'm not wrong, Wither Goggles are going for 4.85 million here, but I can buy a 5-star Wither Goggles for just 5.2 million, and since I don't have any more Wither Essence to 5-star it myself, I think it's probably a better idea to just buy it off the auction house. Alright, so the next thing we're gonna do is to put enchantments on this armor set. Now there's two different ways I can go Go about with the enchantments here. Either I go with the tier 7 enchants or the tier 6 enchants. Now for this time, I'm also going to be going for the tier 6 enchants like I did with my Hyperion a while back. And the reason this time is because while tier 7 enchants is honestly not worth it, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, this armor set is probably at most worth like 100 million coins, right? If I were to put tier 7 enchants on this thing, it would cost me another like 300 million coins. And putting 300 million coins worth of enchants on an armor set that's only worth like 100 million coins, eh, that's gonna be a tough sell to me, my dude. I'm just gonna put tier 6 enchants on this thing. Grow 6 is selling for less than like, yeah, it's selling for 2.4. It's so cheap now. Alright, I'm gonna need to fix my book texture pack after this. This is so difficult to see. I cannot find my protection 6 book. Alright, there we have it boys. Prot 6 and Grow 6. The next thing we're gonna need is to get Rejuvenate. Now here's the deal with Rejuvenate, right? If I'm not wrong, I should have enough Rejuvenate books from all my just regular dungeon drops to make my own Rejuvenate 5 books. You know, all these books are finally becoming useful, I guess. Jesus, man. Alright, it's our first Rejuvenate 5 book, I guess. There we have it, we have the second Rejuvenate 5 book. That is perfect, we just saved 1.2 million coins there. Alright, the next thing we're gonna need is the Helmet Enchants, which is Respiration and Aqua Affinity. Wait, actually, Respiration 3 and Aqua Affinity 1 are default enchants, so I can just probably put it on on the enchantment table. Okay, so for the boots, we're also gonna need Feather Falling 10. And, well, Feather Falling just happens to be one, another one of those enchants that just happen to drop a lot from the dungeons. And there we have it, we have our own Feather Falling 10 book. Alright, so the last thing we're gonna need here is the ultimate enchant. Alright, so for the ultimate enchant, the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna put Last Stand 5 on my chest plate, but then go ahead and put Wisdom 5 on the rest of my armor pieces. And the reason why I'm doing as such is because I heard a rumor from somewhere that apparently Last Stand doesn't stack on multiple armor pieces. However, Wisdom does, so it kind of makes sense to put Last Stand on 1 armor pieces and put Wisdom on 3 armor pieces to maximize utility. This rumor is probably wrong, but who cares, man? Who cares? <laughs> Alright, so technically the cheapest way to get this done is to buy Wisdom 1 books and make my own Wisdom 5 book, but that's just gonna take way too long because I have to buy 24 Wisdom 1 books. You know how long that's gonna take? No way, my dude. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy Wisdom 5s directly off the auction house. Alright, then we're gonna need Last Stand. Alright, sure, I guess. <laughs> Alright, there we have it, boys. The full lineup. Alright, so with that, I guess it's time for me to put the enchants on the armor set. And there we have it, the final piece. Alright, we still need to put Respiration and Aqua Affinity on this thing, so... Respiration 3... Aqua Affinity 1... Alright, there we have it, boys. A fully maxed out, in terms of enchantments, armor set. Alright, so the next thing we're gonna need to do is to put Hot Potato Books on this thing, but uh, this is gonna take a while, because unlike the Hyperion, we're gonna have to put on 40 Hot Potato Books, which is gonna take a little while to put on, so... One eternity later... 
Alright, so I fully applied all the hot potato books on this entire armor set. Now here's the deal, right? For my Hyperion, I actually went ahead and put on fuming potato books as well because it, it kind of just makes sense. The Hyperion cost me like 600 million coins. It, it does just make sense to put extra 5 million coins worth of hot potato books on it. The problem is though, is that with this armor set, the boots isn't even worth like 10 million coins. So it kind of doesn't make sense for me to put 5 fuming potato books on this thing just to get like 10 extra health. I, I genuinely don't think it's worth it. So I think we're just going to skip on the fuming potato books. Don't call me poor, okay? So that being said, while we are skipping on fuming hot potato books, we will not be skipping on recombobulators. That is still very important. And let's see how much these things are going for now. Oh wow, these are going for 6 million. Let's just leave a buy order. This is so expensive. I have once again dipped below 1 billion coins. How unfortunate. Alright, so I actually made a slight mistake. I bought 5 recombobulators instead of 4, so I had to cancel that bizarre order. Alright, let's go ahead and put the recoms on this thing in the advanced reforge anvil. I'm gonna fully recom combobulate my storm armor. And I think with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have fully maxed out our- wait, I forgot, I need to reforge this thing. <laughs> Alright, so for this part, I'm just gonna copy what I did for my previous armor set, which is just to put necrotic on everything. And for the chest plate, I'll just go with loving, just because this is the ideal way to get the maximum amount of intelligence, which is ideal because, you know, I'm playing mage. Oh, these things are dirt cheap, not gonna lie. You know, I just realized I made a fatal mistake. I should have put the reforges on this thing before recombobulating it, because now it will be slightly more expensive. I keep making this dumb mistake. Oh my gosh. Fine. It's only like a few hundred thousand coins extra. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's fine. All right. So I guess it's time for me to finally test out this armor set. And in case you guys are wondering why I didn't put Depth Strider on my boots, it's because uh, apparently there's a bug right now that if you put Depth Strider on your boots, it'll make it look enchanted, which just makes the whole armor set look kind of ugly. So, you know, I, I care about aesthetics. So yeah, we're not putting Depth Strider for now. When they fix the bug, we'll put Depth Strider on it. Okay. Let's try this out in some dungeon runs. Holy crap. You get so much mana with Storm. <laughs> This is so poggers. You, you put wisdom on it. Yeah, I put wisdom on it. I I have I have eleven thousand. Ma Holy dang, dude! I have ten k mana, dude. With the small mana, equals more damage. I always wonder that. Yeah. Because you can spam your RCM a lot more, then it becomes more yeah. damage. Yeah. Auto, auto what? Auto clicker. Thirty CP. Uh -huh. oh, auto clicker. Right click. Auto click. Okay. G yeah, <laughs> Genius yeah, idea, dude. Genius idea. Oh, yeah, re real good, dude. So yeah, as you can see, storm armor makes quite a significant difference when it comes to increasing my mana in dungeons. It went from like six thousand mana to like 11,000 mana, which is crazy difference, not gonna lie. Now, here's a little funny side note. I think just yesterday, the admins just released a new patch for Hypixel Skyblock, which patched the Tarantula Boots fly bug in Floor 7 Dungeons, and that caused Floor 7 Dungeons to be a lot harder to complete now, which resulted in a spike in the price of a lot of the Floor 7 items. Basically, what I'm saying is, I bought this Wither Armor at the best possible time when it was the cheapest, before the price spiked, so that was pretty lucky, I guess, but yeah, anyways. So yeah, anyways, with that being said, guys, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please do consider subscribing as it would really help me out. And uh, yeah, with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys all next time. Have a good one. Peace out.